Hi, everyone, and welcome to this episode of Faces of First Year, brought to you by the First Year Experience Program here at Pima Community College. And if this is your first time watching this series, the goal is to connect our new students at Pima with the faces of the folks who work behind the scenes in the different support resources that are available to our students college-wide, but are going to be especially helpful to you in your first year. So this spring semester of 2023, our focus has been health and wellness. So for today's episode, we are featuring the dental clinic here at Pima Community College. And I have a fantastic person here who is ready to share with you all that you would need to know about this wonderful program. Now, for those who I have not yet met, my name is Renee Forsyth. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. And I'm the one who leads the first year program here at the college. And I am honored to work with other great employees such as Dawn. So I will allow her to introduce herself. Hi, my name is Dawn Stevens and I'm the clinic manager for the dental studies, dental, actually the dental clinic, but I support the dental studies environment, which is dental assisting, dental hygiene, dental lab technology, and I support the community as well. So thank you. Welcome. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and you kind of made a really good point. So you were telling me while we were preparing that dental has been around at Pima for quite a long time. How many years did you say? About 45. The dental assisting program was the first program at Pima and then dental hygiene came um, and we're the only dental hygiene clinic on the southern end of the state. So um, and we've been around the dental hygiene has been around for about 25 years, 27 years. Um, long time. I love that. So if you're watching this video, um, what we're going to really be focusing on today is the dental clinic, which is a resource that is available to uh, PMS students and staff, but also the community. Um, and it, it helps support the students who are part of the dental degree programs here at the college. So Don, can you give a, a summary about what the clinic offers, what they can expect there, et cetera? Okay, so um, the dental hygiene, the dental clinic is um, uh, used for assisting in hygiene students as a lab when they're first learning their skills. But um, once we get to a good skill level, then we are seeing patients. And so we're open to the public. We provide teeth cleaning services. It's also known as an ad prophylaxis, adult prophylaxis and, and periodontal cleanings. Um, so we're always looking for patients who want to come and um, be a patient for our hygiene students. Um, when you get your teeth cleaned, um, it includes the dentist exam, x-rays if you need them. You're going to get a copy of those x-rays, cleaning and fluoride treatment. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity for you to learn about your oral health and are there any costs that they need to be aware of or do they need to have insurance? Um, we don't accept insurance. We are open to everyone. You can be, I think the youngest is usually about three years old. We've had 90 year olds in our clinic. There are fees. It's one fee. Um, the least is 45, the most is 65. We provide the care that your oral health dictates. We assume everyone who walks in the door is a routine cleaning patient, but sometimes people have periodontal disease or they need what's frequently referred to as a deep cleaning, and we provide that as well, and that's the $65 fee. Um, now, I don't think the clinic does really specialty work like crowns, bridges, or dentures, but you do some preventative care, right? Like salients or whitening. Right. Tell us more about that. Right. So we're not a dental school, so we cannot restore teeth. Um, if someone calls me and says, I have a toothache, although I'd love to say we can help them, I direct them to the public health clinics like El Rio and the Marana Health Center in the Tucson community. And um, But our patients, when we're treating them for hygiene, sometimes um, the dentist recommends sealants. So we can apply sealants. Um, that's an additional fee, but sealants help uh, prevent um, 
future decay. It's not a permanent fix, but it is a fix. And then whitening, everybody wants their teeth to be whiter. So if you've committed your time and been a patient um, as a to get your teeth cleaned, then um, if it's treatment planned, we can do whitening as well. And when I say if it's treatment planned is not everyone's a candidate for whitening. So we, we don't wanna be doing something that you would not benefit from. Makes sense. Now, usually at this point, just to kind of also help get students more familiar with what this is like or what to expect, I like to ask the metaphor question. So let's see here. If you were to describe the dental clinic as if it was a board game, what board game would it be and why? Okay, well, I would probably choose chess. Okay. Because why? we because we know chess is, I know it's a great game, um, but it requires some planning. And so you would the king and the queen might be the dentist and the hygienist, and they're going to evaluate your um, oral health, and then we're going to treatment plan, and that's the strategy when we, you know, trying to find the best way to get you to the best outcome, and sometimes it's long, you know, sometimes we have to plan this out, and it's going to take some time, um, but a couple different moves or a couple different visits. Right, yeah. right. And so um, your hygienist and dentist can also be kind of like a knight in shining armor because they may fix that tooth that's been giving you fits for a while. Or you may, because you followed the treatment plan, discover that you restored your um, oral health to a much better place and you didn't think it could happen. So um and I would say that our, the rules of the game is that we have a code of ethics and we're all about taking care of our patients, um, that that's the ultimate goal of the dental hygiene program and the students and faculty that support it. Well, and ultimately then the, the patients are the winners because they got some really excellent care, but also maybe there's more than one winner in the fact that the students are building that experience and practice for their professions and careers. Oh, I think, I think students are winners because they get to experience a plethora of different patients, you know, people from different backgrounds, ethnicities, um, um, demographics, and some people, you know, haven't been able to afford care and some people can afford care. So um, there's a lot of benefits for the students by by fellow students participating and the community participating. But I think patients from the community and students who want to be a patient, you benefit because our students are learning, but you can also learn a great deal about what good oral health is, what you can do to maintain it or improve it and personally I think you're a better consumer when you leave here because you understand what healthy tissue looks like what those numbers are what you should be doing um and so I think it's a win-win for a lot of people for everyone well, and something else to keep in mind that maybe our first year students or the community, the public who might be using this resource to keep in mind is that um, even though there will be students um, who will be working on them and learning, there is still a licensed hygienist and uh, dentist available right. present, correct? Absolutely. When we're providing treatment, there's a licensed dentist and there's several licensed hygienists. So this, the patient is receiving treatment from the student but they're being well supervised by the licensed dentist and licensed hygienist. So the students accomplish process A, for example, and then the faculty come and check and before the student moves on to B. So we're very, very, very thorough. It's probably the most thorough cleaning you will ever receive. Um, I, I know patients from the community who have come here, who'd never been here before, have left saying, oh, I don't remember the hygienist doing, um, I had a neck screening. I don't remember 
them doing an oral cancer screening. You know, there are some things that it's like, so then when they leave, they pay more attention to what the dentists and hygienists are doing with them in the, in, out in the real world. Yeah, I like it. So let's talk about when the dental clinic is open and available. Um, what are the hours of operation, times of year, students can take advantage of this, et cetera? Okay, so uh, we have um, clinic times, our clinic availability, our appointment times are eight in the morning, one in the afternoon, six in the evening. Um, however, the days of the week vary from one semester to the next. In the fall, um, we only have three clinics a week um, because our clinic environment is being used more for lab activities. We have first year hygiene students that need to learn all the basic skills. We have um, uh, dental assisting students. When, when January hits, however, we have between seven and 11 clinics because we have um, junior and senior students um, treating patients. Um, so the days and the times, we're academic. We are not open during the summer. Um, and so patient care is probably um, September through November, end of November, 1st of September through end of November in the fall. And for the spring, it would be the end of January through the end of April for the spring. Um, we're usually the first two weeks of May, since we're in the springtime now, um, we're headed into, you know, finals and boards and things like that. So the first two weeks of May are tying up the loose ends from everything we've been working on all semester. And, and then we have graduation. <laughs> nice. So um, where would they go to learn more about the dental clinic, see where it's located, and schedule an appointment? Okay. Well, we are located only at the West Campus. So the, our only location is at the West Campus, which is off of Anklam Road. Um, and I always suggest people come up by way of St. Mary's Road because it turns into Anklam and you have a traffic light right in front of the campus. So you can't miss us. Um, our, you can check us out on um, the Pima website. If you type in the search engine dental hygiene clinic, it's going to take you to a page. And when you scroll down, you can inquire about an appointment. Um, and usually I respond with information about how it works and what you can expect. And if you would like to be a patient, then we put you on the call list and students call to, to make the appointments. So if you happen to run into a student wearing a scrubs that say dental hygiene, you can certainly stop them and say, hey, how do I be your patient? And they would love it. And they would invite you to um, be a patient to support their education. Uh, yeah. We are always looking, always, always, always looking for patients. Um, the hard part is, is that sometimes we're looking for patients who get their teeth cleaned every six months to a couple of years. Sometimes we're looking for patients who haven't had their teeth cleaned in five, 10, 15 years. Because as the student progresses through their um, program, um, they need different patient requirements, different patient experiences. So if someone was interested, let's say in maybe not just a, a cleaning from the clinic, but they are someone they know are wanting to maybe pursue this program of study, that's also linked on this website. I'm doing a screen share right now. And so if you want to know what is available to you, um, this will give you more information about that. Uh, but then going back to the, the clinic website, if anyone has any follow-up questions, they're welcome to send to this email, wcdental at pima.edu, uh, for just more general information. If you uh, want to listen to it as opposed to read through the website, uh, this would be the best phone number, correct, Dawn, the 520-206-6090? The 6090 is the information line. So it has a recording of what you can expect, et cetera. And you can leave a message there. Um, sending an email is a pretty quick way to get a response. Um, the 6092 number, 
Um, when we have active clinics and labs going on, someone's here usually to answer the phone. Um, we're always looking for patients. If somebody even calls in the summer, we will respond. We will happily share um, the benefits of coming to the clinic and being a patient. Um, we welcome everyone. Um, it does take our students multiple appointments to complete one person. So when you agree to be a patient, you're agreeing if it takes your student four appointments, she'll be here four times. If it takes your student three appointments, she'll be here three times. Um, but again, it's, uh, it's an opportunity for you to learn a lot about your oral health and take good care of yourself and ask the questions that you're afraid to ask somewhere else. We're a teaching environment, so we want people to learn. We're learning, you're learning. It's nice to learn something every day. <laughs> Absolutely. And like you said, I think that's the purpose of Pima Community College is that lifelong learning um, and personal enrichment and education, along with making sure that things are accessible and affordable uh, to the community to do so. Um, are there any other key points that you want to make sure uh, people know about why the dental clinic matters, especially to our students, their friends and their family? Well, I think some people feel like they can't afford to do certain things. And we we need to share with each other, oh, we should look and think about an educational institution. Maybe they have this, um, you know, maybe they have a vet clinic. Maybe they have a massage therapy. Maybe they have dental. And so when you think outside the box, um, there could be opportunities and and Pima has been around in a long time and we want to um, be as supportive of our community as possible and of course our students need your help and I think you can if you volunteer to be a patient yes you're committing your time yes there are some fees involved but the fee that you're paying the the x-rays alone or the dentist exam that you receive or the cleaning, any part of that is worth far more than what you're paying. Um, and we just we just welcome everyone. And we're, I think some people don't realize that your mouth is like a window, so to speak, to the rest of your body. And dentists and hygienists have identified, and it's becoming more recognized, people with serious health conditions you know, it shows up in your mouth. And so if you can take care of your teeth and you want to keep them, trust me, you want to keep them. <laughs> we can help you do that. <laughs> I love that. Well, I want to thank you, Don, for joining us today so that we can learn more about the dental clinic and meet the fabulous face behind it. Uh, if you are watching this as a recording and replay on our YouTube channel, drop any comments that you might have down below. We'll make sure to get those addressed or fielded to the correct person. Make sure that you like this video if you enjoyed what you learned today. Follow and subscribe our channel here at Pima Student Engagement. It is a joint YouTube page between Student Life and the First Year Experience Program. And when you subscribe, you'll get notifications about other live streams we have coming up and other videos that we just added to our various playlists. But otherwise, I want to thank you all for joining us for today's episode. And until I see you next time, take care and keep striving.